Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share possibly one of the fastest pages I've ever done in my Life Crafted album. Um, I'm using the April scrapbook add-on from Citrus Twist and I'm literally going to use these two Heidi Swap papers here. So the first thing I did was trim out two full size Life Crafted pages out of that um, striped watercolor um, paper and I made sure that I was just using the kind of warm tones rather than the greens and blues at the other end because I kind of want to keep this layout a little bit monochromatic and then all I did was trim out this tag from the second sheet of paper it doesn't quite fit the whole page um, with my photo but I want to make this like strip down the right hand side so I'm just going to uh, extend that with the B side from that same paper so the tag I'm going to use sort of top and tail of my photo and I'm going to add my journaling onto that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just use the actual guidelines that are on the tag and I'm going to trim off the top of that. But before I adhere that down onto the paper, I do want to punch through the little tag reinforcer at the top so that I can thread some twine through there later on. Now I'm not going to trim down this background piece until I finished adding everything together. I'm going to type my journaling onto this tag. Um, so having that little bit of extra width there is going to make that just a little bit easier. I have stuck down the first piece of the tag at the top and then I'm just going to line my photo up underneath. I do need to trim this down just a little bit. I did measure it before I printed my photo um, but it's just a little bit larger once I've trimmed it out. So I just uh, trim off a little bit of the edge and then I can line that up. I am making sure that I'm gluing this really well because like I said I'm going to run the whole thing through my typewriter once I've got everything adhered down and I don't want anything lifting off while that is is running through there. So the bottom of the tag says best day ever um, and this definitely was not. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just trim that piece off the bottom of the tag. Um, this is why I need that background sort of paper to help extend this all out a little bit um, because once I trimmed that off the tag it wasn't tall enough to fill up my whole strip. So I think it, the whole thing sort of ties together really nicely with the background paper. You can see here I just ran the whole thing through my typewriter before I trimmed off all of that excess. It just made it a little bit easier. Now I haven't trimmed the bottom because I want to adhere this first and that will give me my guidelines for how much to trim off the bottom. But I am just going to stick this down all super flat. Um, my album is getting pretty chunky at this point so as much as I love adding those really bulky pages in there I have definitely started to start thinking a little bit flatter when it comes to these pages um, and this one here is another example of that. I am going to add some chipboard to this um, so that gives it a little bit of dimension um, but everything else is super flat. So I just went into my stash and I found some yellow baker's twine which I thought worked really nicely at the top here since this is the yellow um, portion of that stripy paper and I didn't adhere down that top piece of the tag so that I could just loop some twine through there when I had finished. I just tie a knot in the top of my twine. Um, it is going to hang out the top of my album and that will stop it ever like pulling out of that hole so it is secure in there. All I've got left to do now is a little bit of embellishing and I'm going to use the magical forest chipboard sheet that was in the kit just to add a few little points of interest in here. I kind of want to create um, my visual triangle. Um, obviously this collection is a little bit sort of children orientated and this page is definitely not about that so I'm being selective about what parts I use from the chipboard sheet. The main focus I want to use is this really cute camera and I'm going to position that over top of my title um, just to balance out that left hand page so at the moment the layout is really heavy on the right hand side and I need something to balance that out on the left and my title and this little cluster on the left is going to do that and to tie the two pages together um, I've added three of the chipboard hearts so two of those are sitting onto my strip on the right hand side and one is going to sit with my title cluster here on the left. 
Now I haven't really adhered anything down yet, they're all just sitting really lightly on the page until I can position everything and I'm going to create my title with these really pretty foiled alphas that are from the um, Magical Forest collection as well and I'm just going to title it really simply Day One. I like the fact that I can kind of echo that rectangular shape on the right hand side um, over here on the left by stacking my camera and the two words on top of each other. And once I've got everything positioned, I can just go ahead and press those down so everything stays adhered nicely. I love that camera. It has that sort of darker black finish to it, which also ties together my photo. Um, but I do want to add a little bit more of sort of black, a bit more contrast to this page. And I'm going to do that with splatters. This always gives me a little bit, um, a little bit of the GBs. I'm always a little bit nervous. I'm not the best splatterer. So I've grabbed some black ink. Um, I just added that into my palette and I'm using a really tiny paintbrush because I don't want huge splatters here. And I'm going real slow. Um, I didn't uh, like mask anything off. So I did get a couple of splatters on my title. They kind of wiped off afterwards. So it wasn't too bad. I'm adding them kind of in just the same places that my clusters are. So I've got um, the majority of them on the left hand page and I'm just adding a few um, around each of the chipboard hearts over on the right hand side. You never know when is enough is enough, but I figured this was as good a place as any to stop. That is my whole page. You can see I didn't speed this video up much, pretty much real time, super simple page and I really love how it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen, otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys.